So let's take a look at how to install Webpack on your system. First thing, go to webpackchase.org and learn what exactly Webpack is. So basically, it allows to bundle your assets that you want to statically serve within your project. So except database, any static asset that you recurringly want to use within project can be bundled with Webpack. To install Webpack, you can use two methods. So let's say uh, for npm, you can use npm space install and then double dash save dash dev and then webpack. Okay, this is the official method recommended in case you want to regularly update webpack as you install and use on new project. Okay, in case if on Windows you encounter some errors, in such case, you can simply change this command to npm install dash g webpack. This should solve most of the webpack related issues, but you may notice that some new projects that you may install that makes use of webpack's latest version, that version conflict may occur. So use global option only if you are working with limited number of projects and you know that uh, webpack version won't have conflict with the global. Then there is one more option, which is to using yarn and webpack. This will also install the webpack on your system and you can use double dash dev directory in this case as well, okay? So if you want to use Clay, then you can use npm install dash g and then webpack dash q. Okay, once you go through all this, you can use the webpack within your command prompt. So you can use webpack space double dash help. Okay. And as you can see, it shows all the options that goes with Webpack on command prompt. Okay, if you are seeing these options, that means Webpack is properly installed on your system and it can be used from any drive or directory. 